Hi, in this really short video, I'll show you how to send more history to Journalytics from MT4 and MT5. Now, if you've already been sending data there, before you do this, it's a good idea to delete the database in the Jigsaw Day Trader app first. To do that, go to My Documents, Jigsaw Trading Database, and find this file here, jigsawtradingpnl.sdf, and delete it. And you'll need to do that while the Day Trader app isn't running. In MT4, when you add the EA to a chart, if you remember, you can just add the EA to any chart and that will pull in all of the data in MT5. You can see this setting here, number of days to go back in history. I'm gonna set that to 180 to get about six months history. Now what you can do, you can set this to 180, you can run it, and then you can come back later and change it back to five, 10 days. They'll just make it run a little bit faster on startups. So if I go in, experts, properties, I could go in later and set that back to five. In MT5, exactly the same thing. I can see the EA here is JT Journalistics MT5. Drag that onto a chart. The only difference here is it might open up on the Dependencies tab first. I go to Inputs, same thing, 180 days. You can put more days if you want, you can put 365. Just remember that one of the points or one of the purposes of Journalistics is to collect additional information about your trades. That additional information isn't going to be there for your historical trades. Anyway, that's how you get the additional data from MT4 and MT5 into Journalytics. And if you've got any questions, just uh, contact us on support. Thank you.